if the available quantity is zero, we want to show it as a red. If the available quantity is one to five, we want to show it as a amber. Uh, or if the quantity is uh, five and above, we want to show it in green color. All right, so we'll go to design view. I'm just simply going to select the available uh, column and in the available column, I'm going to select the text box. I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting. And right here, I'm going to actually create a new rule. And the rule will be if the quantity equal zero, then I want to do formatting. I want to have a background color of the column to red. And now you can see the font is black. That is, it's not really visible. And I would say I want to have a font color in white. And now I'm going to click OK. All right. So I will, I will apply that. So I'll create another rule. I'll say if the field value is between, so this will be the right operator, is between 1 till, let's make it 10, right? Why I'm being very specific to 8. If that's the case, then I want the background color to be amber or orange. And I think uh, black color for the font is fine. So we'll click OK, and I will apply this rule as well. And if the quantity is greater than 10, we can mark it as green. All right, so we'll say greater than 10 as a uh, green color as a background, and the four color or the font color should be white. So let's apply this rule as well. Let's click OK. Now, when I will open the report in the report view, let's see how it looks like. So there you have it. You can see that there is a conditional formatting. So for zero, it is red with the white color font with the four and five, basically less than 10, it's all amber. And above 10, it's all green. So conditional formatting, always beneficial.